boy. And rituals, because you can cast them as instants. Yeah, mate. Uh, interesting enough, you, you kind of crash through, and again, you bring this up. Uh, I will say that the only... It's not necessarily a detriment, but uh, one thing that does happen out of that... Can I adjust how much lighting this gives? Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm going, to be cast, I'm going to be casting light pretty much instantly. Yeah, anyway, that's right. so, yeah. Uh, It doesn't change a whole lot. There's still there's still light coming through, uh, but it does kind of diminish the amount of light. Oh, it doesn't really seem to be... Wait, maybe I'm looking at the wrong person. It does kind of diminish the amount of light that's feeding through into this room as you go. Yeah, yeah. Um, are you just casting light straight off the bat? Uh, yeah, so uh, I'll basically get to me feet and dust off me uh, hoses. Everyone, <laughs> is everyone all right? Swift, Atlas, Gabriel. Uh, time to face the light. And then I'll cast light to give us all a is little it, bit of illumination. What is it? Is it 20 feet and then... Uh, uh, is... 20 feet and then delight for another 20 feet. Yeah, yeah. sweet. All right. Cool. That, that, As you guys charge through, you find yourself off. in a very interesting looking... Spiraling, I guess. I'll keep my eyes on my screen, bro. Heaven of sorts. That's right. These. I don't actually mind if you see this because it could make things even more interesting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what would you like to do? It's ground through one, okay. Oh, yes, yes. yes. Good thing. Welcome, welcome to the. the welcome to the wastes. Where well, every, every day is a little, is little, little, little bit different. different. Good thing we didn't stand around making a quick decision. <laughs> Good thing that we made it the way when we did. <laughs> I don't think I've ever yeah, seen you move that fast. Yes, I don't. To be honest, I don't actually think I have ever moved that fast. <laughs> oh, me knees and me back. How are you doing, Swifty? You doing all right? Uh. Yeah, yeah fine. fine. Oh, that's good. Um, at this, uh, <coughs> oh, good. Uh, at this, oh, I don't think I, I don't, ah, oh, yes, I can. Um, I'm going to move forward into the, into, into the, cave the uh, thing a little bit more. Just for some aesthetics, I'd say you still feel that rumbling and it's almost upon you. <coughs> it almost seems to be passing. At this stage as well, it's kind of hard to tell, uh, but yeah, I'd say like you can almost feel it alongside at the moment. It doesn't seem to be coming exactly towards you. Is there? A, is this a catacomb? Can I see a, a like a body, or is that is that a? Um... You taking a look around this kind of yeah, so basically because I love ruins. So, uh, is there any kind of ruins or artwork or inscriptions or anything like that kind of carved into the? Uh, I will tell you multiple things, actually. Um, give me a perception. Now, some of the stuff's going to be... It doesn't really matter on the result of this roll, but we'll yeah. see what you get out of it. Uh, uh, wait. wait. Yes. Can I just can I look just around look and, around and obviously seeing what, 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 what uh, Tyler's, Tyler's seeing as well? well. Yeah. Uh, I'm, uh, just, I'm just, going just going to say... Oculi, Oculi Grave. Grave. And, and uh, uh, use Eyes of the Grave. grave. Uh, uh, and... What does that do? Is there, is there any undead located within 60 feet of me? Yes, and we will get to that in a moment. If that's hey, okay. Hey, hey, um, okay. hey, Ben, the second that you've, you notice, the second that you say your gibberish language, you'll <laughs> notice that the quill comes out of the back of my backpack and starts writing in my book real freebishly straight away. <laughs> Just automatically notating what he's saying. <laughs> I'm pretty much doing that for everything, but yeah. Um, okay, so we will do... Uh, I'll describe uh, what everybody wants to do first, if, if they want to do anything else, and then we'll go through it. Uh, so Swift and Gabriel, what are you guys up to? So you've kind of just come crashing through, you've got the storm raging outside. You find yourself in a bit of a weird tomb. Uh, Gabriel? I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Hello? Yep, yep. Oh. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm also... also... It's not it's on, on my, my sheet, sheet, but I have, I have a, a skill, skill that, that lets me search, search for, for creatures, creatures within a mile of me. Of me? Okay. Uh, is it for like a specific creature or uh, uh it's for primeval primary awareness, awareness. So I use yeah, it. Yeah. yeah but yeah, it's not on my it's not on my like, like sheet at all so i can't link it really you didn't weird. Yeah, it should be under the class features yeah. but you might have replaced it with the other primeval 
skill you can as an optional feature. Or oh, vice versa. Did I? I'm not too sure. Do you want to check that out? And we'll just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Swift, what are you, what are you up to? Uh, are you just chilling? Main spots are prim primal <laughs> awareness. Um, <clears throat> which gives you a speed with animals and shit. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I don't know, I'll just take a look around, around and see what's, see what's, what's, what's up, up in this room. room. Okay, here yeah, you can roll me a perception check as well, and we'll come through there. Um, sorry, Dave, what were you trying to figure uh, out with your... Primeval Awareness also searches, searches for, like, search it's, for like, it's like undead, undead dragons. Dragon. And... Okay, well, what, what, is, what is Gabriel doing then? Like, obviously you don't have that exact feature, but if no, you're something similar, okay. no, if you want to tell me what you're going to try to do, let me know. Just gonna, yeah, just gonna be looking gonna around, around, I guess. Okay, cool. I'm just give us a perception check. Um, forty. Okay, so you guys each find yourself. At, you quickly identify that this is a tomb of sorts. Ooh, um, cool. I don't. That doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure that out. Given that there's uh, like mummified bodies in these kind of recesses in the walls. Um, so these are, if you guys played Skyrim, you know how it's like the Draugr like lying down in the in the thing. Yeah. Uh, very, very similar kind of fashion to that. Um, sand's kind of trickling through from the ceiling as that shadow goes past. It's, you kind of gather that it's probably not the most, um, most, uh, what we've got, uh, Penis. sturdy, sturdy um, structure that you're potentially in. Um, you can see a uh, fair bit of like, even the walls, and as you look up, uh, a lot of the kind of structures kind of eroded away. Interestingly enough, and this is like where some of the light source seems to be coming from, you can actually see as you look up, there's lots of small holes where light filters through mm -hmm. um, to the point where some of them, they're only small holes, but you can almost see up to the sky uh, from, from where you are currently standing. Like there's kind of, it's almost like, like cracks and stuff in the roof or... It's, it's not even cracks. It, like, there's not a solid roof that goes across. Oh, okay. It's more like there's, like, beams of sorts that all kind of crisscross over. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so most of, like, gets blocked out. Way. Yeah. It's a very interesting kind of uh, fashion. It's kind of hard to tell from where you guys currently are because this is quite high up, like 30 feet up or so. Mm. Um, but, yeah, there, there's kind of this... It's a very interesting kind of design, uh, to say the least. Um, again, there is the... Uh, the kind of mummified bodies and such that are currently lying and I'll say Gabriel this no sorry not Gabriel Atlas at this point your your newfound uh grave cleric abilities or sh shamanistic abilities I guess yeah, just yeah. would be more fitting for your character yeah yeah shamanistic yeah. abilities and that kind of like slight connection to the spirit realm if we want to call it that uh your you just have a tingling sense like everywhere around you basically um tell me does it does it tell you which uh does it just detect undead does it tell you anything about them well just well, says uh, uh the location, the location of, any of any undead, undead within 60, 60 feet, feet of me that, that isn't behind, behind total cover and, and that isn't protected, protected by divination, divination magic, magic until the end of my next, my next turn, turn i can use this feature two times per lot okay um basically every not every, I should say. Most of the um, the mummified remains kind of set off that tingling ceiling, uh, feeling to you. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll turn to, to Adrian and basically be like, like, we, we are uh, potentially, potentially not alone, alone in here, here but, but don't, don't go, go desecrating any corpses. Hmm. Uh, at this, I'm going to... I was kind of looking over the body and kind of I was going to start kind of prodding at it, hmm. but at that, I'm going to step back. Uh, yes, Atlas, uh, nice call on that. I am a little bit too nosy. Uh, at that, I'm going to, uh, give my book to my unseen servant and allow the quill to basically be not, uh, noting down all of the architectural features and, uh, are there any, um, inscriptions on the wall, even if I don't understand them? Yes. Uh, they're not written but drawn in them. We're going to come back to the second issue. Sorry, Gabriel, uh, just because we had a 14 from you. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. The only... You see these... Like, obviously, Atlas is talking about the undead uh, or the, the mummified 
creatures, agents already kind of pouring over this stuff. As you look around for any other points of interest, you've noticed this thing up here, up above. Um, the only other point of note where you guys, from where you guys are currently standing, there's these two, this isn't just a set dressing, uh, well, part of the set, I should say. Uh, there, there is a large statue there that almost looks like a knight, I guess, like a typical kind of knight in armor. Um, it's, it's clad in, uh, just almost black, like a very, 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 very deep, dark brown, because you can see this with, oh, you don't see colors with, the, ah, fuck it, whatever, um, deep, dark kind of brown armor, it seems like it's almost rusted through at this point, um, at each of their sides, uh, each of its sides, it has these, like, beautifully like ceremoniously a ceremonial crafted uh carved uh hatchets on each of its side as well um coming back to agent looking around as you look around this tomb on the walls there's it goes on forever there's like artwork across all of it like carved into the wall um Initially, you're like, oh, this is like a traditional tomb or something. But the architecture is very, very different to what you'd usually expect now that you get kind of a closer inspection on it. And again, a lot of these depictions are off, uh, think about like almost like Egypt tombs. There's like... Uh, almost, hieroglyphics. Almost like hieroglyphics, but there's, yeah. there's, there's there is depictions of scenes um, and of uh, like... What do you say? Like small humanoid figures, like bowing to this. Uh, and f when you're looking around this kind of area, these like this large humanoid figure, I guess you'd say, this faceless uh, large kind of humanoid, and then the rest of them are almost kind of like bowing, almost in servitude, um, around the front. Um, and as you glimpse over, as you kind of follow the path around, it's kind of hard to tell where it starts, if it had a beginning. Okay. Um, uh, just while you while yep. you're doing this, I'm going to be as I'm looking up. I'm going to cast uh, comprehend language. Yeah. Um, which should be coming through uh, any second. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I, I will say that this isn't a this isn't a written, written language. This is, sorry, I said hieroglyphics before. Yeah, that's not yeah, really a fitting. Thing. more of a pictorial form, not yeah. so much a written. Thing. Yeah, no, yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, and it kind of winds around the walls, and it. It's hard to tell if it's one consistent story because some of it has eroded away. There's like uh, gaps in between and it's kind of hard to tell if it makes sense chronologically from what you've seen so far. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right, well, what I'll be doing is um, depend depending on how long we're down here, mm -hmm. uh, my Unseen Servant and my Quill uh, is going to be basically copying Copy as, much, as much as possible uh, until uh, things happen. Uh, cool. Absolutely fascinating. I um I can't even begin to understand what these um what what this language is about. Atlas, do you know of uh do you know of any um kingdoms or empires that once uh, lived in the wastes? I was going to say, say Wade. Um, um, I mean, obviously, I mean, obviously my, my tribe, tribe would probably have dealt with a lot of pentagrams and stuff like, like that. that. Is it, is it similar, similar to like, to like tribal, tribal, like neo neolithic, neolithic sort of standard, like you know, you know a bunch, a bunch of, of men chasing a buffalo with spears, spears and that sort of stuff, or is it more, more um, complex, complex than that? Than that. Uh, I am just going to send you one message. Can you just tell me yes or no? Um, it's not tribal as such. It's not like uh, like caveman kind of pictograms. It's more. It's got more detail and such to that. So you can tell it's some sort of ritual. Uh, ritualistic. There's a there's a purpose to have them on the wall. Like yeah. there must have been a meaning to do it. I I wouldn't, I wouldn't have, have gone, gone there. there. I would have I would gone, gone there, there and, around and around and heard and lots, heard of, stories. lots of stories. Hmm. Considering my, it, village, make, was, make my, village, was, my village, my village was my village was about twenty kilometers away from here. Yeah, yeah. Make me a history check. All the fun All the ones fun that ones I, have, I have, literally... literally... Nah. nah. Oh, okay. Um, I will say this. So, as Gabriel asks you this, <laughs> you'd never been... Like, it's not something you'd normally see, but, like, you had been out with your father into ruins and such as you kind of head north of your town. Mm -hmm. um, 
and it's it's hard to recall but perhaps there could have been some similarities like you remember seeing runes and such scratched on the walls and and drawn in that but whether or not they were any of the same depictions or even in the same kind of style like it's 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 from your youth it's from when you were a lot younger okay so i'd, yeah. I'd, I'd say to agents sort of like they, they look, look like, like tribal, tribal ruins, ruins but i, I don't, don't understand, understand anything, anything. Yeah, you definitely wouldn't understand it, but you might have an inkling as to, like, yeah, yeah. this could be related. Not guaranteed, because it's kind of hard to recall whether or not it is even were the same. Yeah. 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 Sorry, 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 Adrian. Sorry, I'm, I'm really, I'm probably, probably not, not that good with these. these. I, there's, there's something there's, there's, is, like, like, caught on the caught tip, on of, my tip of my tongue, tongue and I feel like I have seen something, something like this, but I just, I can't remember. can't remember. No, no, no problem, Atlas. This is, uh, this is, uh, one of the reasons why I came to this land, uh, to learn and investigate all these amazing things that this uh, these islands have to to offer, <laughs> I'm kind of glad we got uh, chased in here. As yeah, sand pulls through the roof. <laughs> 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 all right. What are we doing? Um, I think I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna follow the follow the, um, the, the pictograms the and sort of explore, explore a little bit more in here. In here. Um, um, maybe maybe, maybe, maybe well. well Maybe up to Maybe about, up to about here. here. Can't really see much around after that. Yeah, I'll probably move up as well and just have a look, look, see at all the different. Things. What are you checking out? So you're looking at the walls as you go through. Yes, yeah, so I'll be following the walls up. Except I will. Is there something up here? Is it? So the computer's just taking a while. <laughs> so is that the um, is that the uh, golem that you're saying? That statue up this, north. This one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I'm definitely going to be going up to that and kind of having a quick look um, uh, or when i say a quick look i'm going to have a in-depth look actually. yeah i mean you can Gabe, roll on Gabe, 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 Sorry. gabriel do you actually, actually smell anything smell alive, alive in here, here? Uh, uh, gabriel is quite quite quite, quite, quite intense. Intense. uh he's uh, got he his crossbow trained, trained on, on the bodies, bodies. since <laughs> the mentioning <laughs> of undead I'll say there's no movement, Gabriel, at this stage. Like, you are aware that these creatures are undead, I should say that, because obviously you've picked that up. Um, that there is life of some sort in them, but they just are all completely still at the moment. The only real movement, and perhaps it gives you a little shudder every now and then, is that shuddering of the ground, which is kind of uh, making everything sh move a tiny bit. But you never, I, at this stage, you don't see any raising up. Hmm? The sandstorm is like raging outside. Uh, yeah, like basically you're in. Uh, I mean, you can hear it still just outside. It's kind of like dulled through a bit, but if you look up through those gaps, you can just see sand basically covering it. It's almost hard to see the sky up through the the ceiling currently. Right. Yeah, <clears throat> still going hard. I'll just I'll just, I'll just stay I'll on high alert. alert. Okay. Yeah. So good. No surprises for you. Uh, investigation and uh, Atlas, as you're following this around, again, these depictions just it kind of continues. Um, I'm trying to think what you'd have at this stage. Uh, a lot of it is just these humanoid figures kind of bowing in supplication to these kind of larger figures. As you kind of come around to, are you following this path through? Are you stopping about there? You can stop about there. Just okay. waiting wait, wait, wait for, for everyone, everyone else to okay. catch, up. catch up. Yep. Uh, Although just, oh, for, just for um, um just for, uh, for shits and giggles, giggles I, probably I probably will say, will say um, uh, uh, the body's uh, llama fed up. Uh, my uh, hex plate will just pop into my uh, <laughs> pop into my hand. <laughs> I'm getting a little bit, <laughs> bit weirded out. Weirded that there's so much dead bodies in here, and everyone's sort of acting on edge, and sort of like freaking me the fuck out, man. Um, being a being like a grave cleric shaman, you probably this place doesn't smell of death, surprisingly. And it might be because of the sand and the fact that they've been in there for so long, but it doesn't sound, doesn't smell necrotic by any stretch. Um, Aegean, you look closer at the these these knights, and kind of further inspection reveals that it's not rust that has eaten away at their armor. Their actual armor is wood. Oh, and it's this very dark black, like very dark black it's very thick and it's kind of just rotted away a bit over time 
Um, and even the hatchets themselves, you can see that, again, they're beautifully crafted, but it is... The, the hilt, everything about it, other than the blade itself, is all the same the same wood. It's crafted right over. Um, um, where you find the what you're supposed to be the helmet. Yeah. So it's one so it's one object rather than like a suit of armor, kind of like on a stand. I'd say over 22, uh, 22. Yeah, you can figure out that this... You can't see where the the links would normally be, or the, uh, the gaps would normally be in yeah. armor. Kind of comes up, it drops off a bit there, and there is kind of like a neck. But as you kind of look up to see like the helmet, there's no there's no seam, there's no gap there. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to give it a tap on the chest with my stick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. So it's it's basically dead and lifeless. Oh, how interesting! How interesting. The armor of this knight seems to be made of wood. Fascinating. What? What? Wood. Wood. Yes. The the, the blades of his of his weapons are they definitely seem to be blades made from metal, but everything else, the armor and I believe it's just one big solid carving. Interesting. Uh, uh is that not normal? Well, armor's well, not very good, but it's just wood. Mind you, we yeah, can't we talk. Can't None talk. of us are None wearing armor. Wearing armor. Do, you, do the people in your village, Swift, do they do they wear wooden armor, do they? Uh, no. no. But our mm-hmm. houses are made of wood, wood, and they stop they everything. Stop everything. <laughs> yes, I suppose. I would rather wood than this frilly little... <laughs> cloak that I have, this cloak doesn't stop even the sand getting in. Uh, I will say, when we've tapped on this, yeah, it feels rock fucking solid. So like it's a hardwood. That like, is like a hardwood. Australian jar, kind of hardwood. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, sorry, just I'm trying to find notes on something in the meantime, but I don't yeah. know what you guys are up to. Uh, yeah, well, if nothing nothing has stood out in terms of nothing written or carved into the armor, that anything I probably will move to, move on and keep uh, looking at the hallways with my unseen servant behind me. That's really annoying. Uh, no worries. As you pass through, and I believe it's both Atlas and Aegean are checking out these runes. Although I guess everybody kind of catches a glimpse of this as well. As you come around here, you see on the walls there is a depiction again of those the supplicant almost look like people kind of bowing. Yeah. And they've they've got now four of these uh, larger humanoid um, creatures near them, and above them, almost like a um, like a child would draw like a sun or something like that is another face looking down on them. Well, if I was to guess, uh, normally, like, speaking of my homeland, uh, quite often the ancient scriptures and ancient carvings, uh, they quite often deify the sun. So I wonder if this, I wonder if these people, I wonder if they're worshipping their sun as their deity. This seems to make sense. Ding, ding. I mean, I mean, it looks like, it looks these, like these, these these supplicants, supplicants are, are kneeling, before, kneeling before, people. before people. I don't, I don't understand that. There's not there's five, five suns, suns in the sky, in the sky are there? Did I miss something? something? Sorry, aren't they kneeling to the sun? Covered? So, uh, from what you can see, probably about on this wall, let's say, yeah. there is, again, a bunch of people kind of bowing. There's four larger humanoids that yeah. are kind of standing above them, yeah. almost. And then above that is one... Uh, it's, it's a face, actually, but it's drawn... Mm. Like quite simply, so you can it's just a face. You can't see any other features out of it. Mm. Um, somewhat circular. Uh, again, looking down on those. Well, so yeah. Well, maybe well, I don't know. This is just me purely spe- speculating, but I wonder if these four uh, larger um, entities. I wonder if they're either the rulers or the champions or the uh, heroes of of whatever the story is, and. I'm just trying to figure out what this uh, face is above, above, above them all. Interesting. Uh, uh, Gabriel and Swift, are you following closely behind? Are you hanging back? or? 
Oh, man. Uh, I'm, I'm, so, I'm so, yeah, yeah, I'm... Yeah. <clears throat> I'll just be, I'll just like, be like, 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 in the back. In the back. Just trace my hand. I alert. I'll be like, I'll be like there. there. Yeah. I'm fully going to crack up if you've turned these four, these four, these four mes mes humans in the sun face into the Teletubbies. Don't give me ideas, man. So we hear that rumbling outside. As you come around a bit, Gabriel, you probably notice, uh, just given oh, probably your next square or two, as you kind of do walk around, you notice another one of these large figures. Uh, there's kind of like knights in armor. Again, your kind of senses, Atlas, are kind of pinging off every time you look around at one of these um, kind of mummified uh, remains as well. There's just that sense that oh, these they're lifeless, but there seems to be the spirits are still around. They say that nice. Can I do like a yeah, full on sort of like iconic investigation, investigation on one of these corpses? corpses? To be like, what would what trigger, would this, trigger thing, this thing, or what would, what would is, is the, 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 spirit the spirit inside, inside the body? The body? Or is a or is spirit inhabiting, inhabiting the body, body almost like what, like what my spirits, spirits do, to do to me? You can roll an arcana. Have you got? You don't have any way to speak with dead or anything, do you? Uh, um, I've probably got probably something, got but, something but, but it's just not, just not in, in my. my... Yeah, roll, roll me an roll me an arcana. Um, I'm gonna slowly be continuing, just to, almost absent-mindedly, just kind of following. Following these murals as you go around. Following the murals, yeah. just so maybe paying more attention to the murals and the yeah. walls than I than actually. <laughs> oh, very runs a tip. Assuming it's gonna be an animal. Tars looking at the screens like ah. <laughs> um, a twenty of Akana. What does that let you know? The spirit remains. The spirits in the body. They're not like some absentee spirits flying around the the uh, the tomb or anything like that. The spirit, uh, hasn't, the spirit moved hasn't moved on. on. Hasn't moved on, no. Okay. okay. They seem dormant, as you probably expect by the fact they're not moving. They, I would say with that role, you can probably... You can probably... Assume, oh fuck, I don't know how to do this. You can probably assume that they're not going to like just jump up and grab you kind of thing like that. Like They're not just sitting there waiting. Uh, these are spirits that are there for a reason. They haven't moved on. Um, without having a way to actually communicate as such of them. This is more just like a communion and trying to figure out what the general feeling is. Um, it's probably... You're probably getting a feeling of service. Like, perhaps they were bound from some reason, uh, for some reason to be here. Uh, okay, uh, okay. Almost, almost like, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Almost like they're... Um, um, yeah, I get yeah, what you're sort of talking about. They might if, be, uh, if that makes sense. Sorry, I know it's a bit of, cryptic, yeah. but... Yeah. It's almost like there's, there's something that might be holding them here. Yes, that would be fair to say. Yeah, okay. No, that's cool. I'll, I'll probably I'll spend about 10 minutes just doing this, this um, uh, arcana, arcana interrogation. interrogation. Mm. And, uh, and uh, after, after what what everyone, everyone else has done their thing, thing, I'll, um, I'll get up and, get up and um, hold I will say, just because you're already kind of reaching out for these, this kind of spiritual communion, mm -hmm. um, surprisingly, and it, do it doesn't seem familiar to you as such, but you do sense the same type of thing coming out of this this wooden knight to some extent oh so the so now you uh, to be to be clear your your kind of um undead uh your your sense for undead is not something that you feel when you get closer to those wooden knights um but you do feel like a spirit still remains here and again it's just that uh, that kind of, it's kind of hard to explain, but they're almost like intrinsic feeling of, of service or servitude. Okay. 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 So, there's, so there's something, something around, around here that's here causing, causing basically, basically these knights and these, and these bodies in the sarcophagi to sort of, sort of remain. remain. That's probably a fair assumption to make. Okay. 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 Cool. So, so, yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. No, that's cool. No, that's cool. I will, I will, yeah, I'll yeah, have, I'll a, have a, a ponder and a think and thinking. After, everyone's after everyone's sort of investigated a bit more, I'll have a chat. Aegean, you can see some further... Again, there's kind of depictions, some minor ones across here, on this flat wall here, um, up ahead. And assuming you kind of round that corner as well, you can actually see it. Um, I was about to say, I will stay in eyesight of, of the rest Atlas. Of yeah. Um, but at seeing the second night, I definitely will go up and have a look at him. Mm. 
I can still kind of see <laughs> Atlas there in the background. Problem is, I'm not really thinking that straight. Um, yeah. And I will go up and just compare the statue to the last one. Make some notes. Uh, very similar with this one. It's the same type of thing. It's like right in different places. Mm -hmm. Still that hard that you, again, from seeing the previous one and kind of figuring that out, you recognize that this one again is just wearing that uh, that wooden armor or it seems to be. Again, just like, give it a tap. It's rock hard. Um, only difference is this guy has a battle axe next to his side as opposed to, the hatchets. to two hatchets. Um, outside of that, it's almost like a replica of some some extent. All right. Um, I'll say as you round that corner as well, you see more glyphs, uh, more of these um, depictions kind of on the wall. You probably notice from where you are, uh, there's like a recess in the in the wall. Oh, yeah. Um, up this way. I definitely yeah. think just because I've rolled that ten for my own kind of self check. Yeah. Um, that's uh, realizing. Oh, I'm getting way too far ahead of the mm -hmm. the crowd. And I'm going to back up a little bit. Realizing that I'm paying way too much attention to the runes. Ah. Atlas! I think this, uh, I think this <coughs> thing go, goes on a little bit further. Is Swift and Gabriel there, or...? Uh, Swift! Uh, Swift. I, I have Swift. Swift! Gabriel's not Gabriel's that far behind us. Good. Good. <laughs> I you can see fuck off. Swift, I don't, Swift, I don't, I don't suppose you know anything you know about, about spirits, spirits and undead, undead and anything. Uh, I know they're, I know bad. they're bad. That's, that's a fair that's assumption. Fair assumption. They, can they can be good, but, but most, most of the time, of the time they're, they're bad. bad. That's, all good. that's all good. Just, Just remember, remember not to... Not to it seems, it seems that, that upon looking, upon at, looking these at these spirits, spirits something's holding them in place, place, so there might be so something might be further up that's making, making all of these spirits, of these spirits stay here, here um, of, of, of their, their free will or not their free will. Free so, will so. Like rope? Mm, not so not much so rope, much rope just, um, just uh, more, um, uh, more, uh, I suppose, uh, fear, fear or some magic or something like that. And just be aware that if we do disturb something further up, then all of these spirits may come to life and... Sneak up on Sneak us. Up on I just want you to be, aware, you of be aware of that. Okay. Okay. Very, very, very well. Very well. Uh, and I'll. I'm <laughs> <we're> looking <laughs> over my shoulder because I'm pretty I'm sure Swift gives me total PTSD. Total PTSD. Uh, I will just uh, slowly just walk. Slowly walk. <laughs> Fuck. Why is it not? Oh, Apple trail. She seems. She seems, she seems far she seems too far old too for the body for the that, that she's in. She's in. <laughs> What? what? Get serious, serious serial, serial killer, killer vibes, vibes off you. <laughs> there we go. Cool. Right. So we're heading ahead. What's happening? Uh, at this, I am going to say. So, Swift, tell me, did your uh, does your people do you have catacombs and tombs and things like as interesting as this? You're going to see I'm quite excited for being here. Is that to me or Swift, sorry? Oh, that was to Swift. Ah, ah. I'd, I'd say. Alright, was someone talking? talking? Uh, yes, yeah, I was asking you, seeing that we were talking about... No, I know. I, know. <laughs> I heard. I, heard. <laughs> I think he's still giving you the silent truth. Oh, Swifty. I forget that sometimes... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I forget that you're still, still young. Um, I, I, I would say Swift that this doesn't, this doesn't seem familiar, but you've de definitely been like splunking in caves and such before, and the kind of environment is, is probably somewhat familiar to you regardless, I would say. So I would guess it's up to you how you want to interpret this, but you probably feel pretty comfortable at the moment. Yeah, yeah. I would guess. I still said, I still what, said I said. what I said. Yep. Oh, oh. Uh, we'll, uh, keep, we'll forward. keep moving forward. I'll oh, catch up to um, I'll catch up to Adrian. Wow. How are you enjoying, enjoying yourself? yourself? That sort of place you don't see this very often, do you? Ah, this is absolutely fascinating. I kind of, uh, I kind of wish that we just set up camp and study here for the next few days, but I know we need to finish off that uh, mission. 
not sure anyone sure would want to, uh, to uh, well, well, mind you, these storms go on for quite a long time. We might be stuck in here for a few days. And what about you, Atlas? Yeah, I, I, you haven't told me much about your peoples. Do you have uh, amazing tombs and places yeah, not, of interest not, like this? Not so much not tombs. Much when when, when, when one of the tribes tribe died, 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 usually we burnt their body. Burnt their body. Um, um, but we recorded their memory in, in, in a cave, in much, cave like much like the depictions the on these cave walls. Cave just walls very different. Very different. Is that uh, a, is, is the oh that's so interesting? I'll drop it down in a note. Uh, is, uh, is is it uh, off limits for visitors? Could could uh, visitors, or is it uh, sacred? This cave of yours. It's it's, it's, so it's kind of any cave, cave in, in, in the island, the of, island Wraith of Wraith that we come, we come across. across this. We, we we don't we don't tend to stay in the same place, place that, that often. often. And, um, and um, can I, can I out, of out of curiosity, tell that, that um, badly, badly spelt is my language, my language in your book? In your book? <laughs> Badly spelled. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you'd definitely be able to like the book is open in the unseen servant's uh, hands with the quills writing, so you'd just be able to go up and have a look and, and read and see. Am I am I getting your language right there, Atlas? Uh, yes, yes, sort of. And sort I just of, sort, of, sort of like like scratch a few little, little corrections, corrections into it. <laughs> be like, yes, that was due to burst into flame. We don't. <laughs> That's awesome. I have to. I have to admit, I'm. I'm very much trying to catch things phonetically. <laughs> and from uh, then from on, it was the day that Atlas knew that he could whisper things, things to the unseen servant and just make up brain. I, to be honest, I probably wouldn't even have noticed that because I'm still so fascinated mm. with the with the walls. Atlas, which uh, which way do you reckon we should go? Should we head up the stairs or Just is that yes. is that cove there? Is that you see nothing? Let me just you didn't see that. No, uh... <laughs> no I'm meaning the uh, thing to my right, the oh. little alcove thing. Yeah, from where you're standing, there is a um, up in front. There's almost like a collapsed uh, like this kind of what looks like stone and kind of wood like vines and such reaching through kind of covering whatever passage might have been there there's two uh god i'm gonna say this wrong there's two braziers yeah braziers braziers yeah. right okay cool yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh there's two braziers to the sides uh both of them still have like coal and such in them mm. um and outside not of lit. that it's not, kind not, of lit. Like, not lit currently no uh to the right you're able to make this out again you've seen that kind of mural depiction there there is a door and it, it looks to be of of, um, of wood as well, uh, same type of wood that was on the uh, the the previous um, the knights, yeah, yeah. statues. Um, and with your comprehend languages, because it lasts an hour, so this is still running. Yeah, there is writing across it. There is on each. The, it looks like there's a split down the middle of this door. Yeah, and on one side it has. Uh, this picture and you recognize it from the previous murals that you've been investigating yeah. of the large um and she has the face she has the face of the one that was yeah, kind of yeah. looking over uh, the rest like the sun yeah, yeah um and you can see now that he is actually it, it, it's more of a humanoid figure it has that face but then it has what you can see the shoulders and stuff it's kind of side on like mm. side on profile and it's like this almost similar to the knight uh. um but it has uh kind of like almost carved eyes into it uh, on one side of this door, and on the other side is this beautifully carved uh, depiction of a humanoid elvish face. Oh, mean. Yeah. Uh, and there's writing across the middle. Sweet. So, and so I'll know what that... The writing says? Yeah. Uh, ah! Sorry, I'm just fully... That's right. I don't know what the hell happened there. It says... It is, it is an ancient dialect, I should say. This is not a traditional one. Okay. Your comprehend languages are still able to decipher the majority of it. Because okay. it looks like... You're sitting there, and first you read it, and you've got this magic kind of, like, attuned to your eyes, and you're kind of looking through it. Mm. And you're like, that doesn't make sense. And as you... But you slowly start to piece together... Roll me an intelligence roll, actually. Intelligence we'll, see, roll. we'll see how much you get out of this. Do you want to roll me a, oh, on, yeah. uh, roll that thing. one there, just so, it, so the guys don't um, have to wait? Whew. You have a plus four. This should be good, right? Surely. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, that's right. Um, okay, it won't be a direct translation, but you'll get it pretty close. Yeah. Uh, Says McDonald's. <laughs> ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Says 
Stir this is a Wendy. Speak by tongue thy name. And then you can see it has... It takes a little while to read. It looks like it says Lord and Enter. But that's scratched out. Somewhat more recently. And after that it says ye who called upon the stars. And there is a name underneath. Uh, you recognize the language. Yeah. I think. <laughs> I'm fluent in halfling, orcish, dwarvish, and elvish. Yes, okay. Uh, it is in elvish, although, again, it looks like it's... For like an ancient script. One. Uh, you read it that it says Azuri. Azuri. Oh, it seems... I'm just making this out, but it seems like uh, you uh, you mentioned the this figure, this uh, heroic figure here. Uh, you mentioned his name, and the door opens uh, like a password. Hmm. I'd say that's what it is. Um, I'll quickly just have a poke around just to see that there's nothing loose on the door, no kind of nothing that moves, no door handles or anything like that. There's no Might handles. Want to check for traps as well. I don't particularly want to get an arrow to the face. Oh, oh, yes. I forget that places like this have those sorts of things. So I'll definitely I'll check the door for traps now as well. Is anybody assisting you with that? Or are you just going harder? Uh, I'll just go hard on it. All right. Watch. Roll me investigation, I guess. Uh, investigation. So, an investigation. Atlas, where you're currently standing, you can feel wind coming through. And it only takes a glance up to see, again, kind of like holes and such in there, but there's more of an opening. And you can uh, see that dust is still going past. It seems to have calmed down a little bit. But again, you can still hear vibrations and pretty heavy winds and such ahead. But okay. there's a big, bit of a bigger gap, and it seems to kind of wind and keep on going up. I only um, got an 8 for investigation. Only an 8 for investigation. Looking at the hole, can I just take one step backwards just so I'm not directly underneath this hole? Oh, the hole, the hole's like basically up from here. I'm just saying you can see it from your current location. Oh, okay. I was like, God, yeah. if I just totally gets the door wrong and I end up with a face full of boiling oil, then I just love <laughs> <laughs> uh, An 8 for investigation. Yeah. Uh, you don't pick up any traps or such. You can see that the, the door has... Like, there is moving parts to it. Like, there is a seam that goes down the middle. So you can only expect that it's going to open up from side to side. Yeah, yeah. But in terms of, like, triggering mechanisms and such, you can't right. spot anything, I don't think. Not for eight. So I'm going to... What was the name written at the bottom? Azuri. Azuri. It seems like some of the messages scratched out, but I think I have it. So I step back, and in a confident tone, I shall say... We beseech you, Lord Azuri, open the doors. We mean no harm. And then I step my staff down on the ground. And you are speaking in? Elvish. You say that in Elvish? Oh, no, no, no. I say that in English. In, in common? Oh. Fucking English. English. Nothing happens. You got to see this big show of, Oh, I speak my name. Uh, so at this point, I'm feeling a little bit flustered and a bit frustrated. I'm going to go sit down. And I'm going to be talking to myself, thinking, but I'm sure that was the one. And then muttering under my breath, I'm going to be saying, and I'm going to say in Elvish, yeah. uh, surely it's Lord Azuri. And with that, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you see the doors, uh, they actually start to roll back. Oh, like first they kind of, and like a small gap opens up and then they just start to, you can hear this mechanism, almost like gears and these doors just slowly start to roll to the side oh, and kind cool. of spin up a bit there's like this kind of curved hook underneath where they were digging in um agent starts clapping oh goody goody more no, to to investigate uh at that point atlas and uh rolling on from your perception check earlier gabriel uh your guys senses go haywire because you can just start feeling and seeing movement all around you what do you guys want to do? Um, I'm going to excitedly uh, walk to the crack of the door and try to peer through the crack to see what's inside. It's, it's already like reaching up. 
to oh, a point. So, so it's already open and stuff. Yeah, it's it's not fully open, but it's like already like to a point where you can probably squeeze through if you really wanted. Yeah. So um, as you look through, so I'm not paying attention to anything else. I'm so excited about the next portion of the tomb that I'm going to basically go and stick my head through and have a look to see what. Yeah, you can see another room. It's it's quite a bit bigger than this one. It opens up and there's a lot of light funneling through into that one there. Cool. Uh, at this point as well, with that running bag, you can hear, just to add some more chaos, you can hear, you know when like some, like a bolt comes loose, like, tum, 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 tum. Atlas from where you're standing, you can hear this, you hear it, doof, doof, and like the whole structure itself starts shaking a bit. What are you guys uh, doing? Let's hear it. I think something might have broken in the door. There is... Creatures start to stand up. What are you guys doing? Let's go around the circle. Uh, Gabriel, what are you going? What are you doing? Uh, I've been on high alert this whole time. I'm going to do like a Dark Souls dodge roll. Yep. And like, just Where are you hitting have him? my crossbow ready behind us. Okay, so you're, uh, which row are you rolling? Rolling towards the door? Or just... Yeah, okay. I'll like roll kind of like here, I guess. Yep. Or is that a wall? Yeah. That, that's a wall right there, but you're all good. Uh, this is opened up. I can probably actually delete there on the dynamic lighting okay there we go there we go that kind of recesses in a bit now that that's kind of pulled back uh you can probably guess that you guys have like a good six seven seconds kind of thing like that what are you each doing i know you've taken a roll you've probably got a bit more time to move if you like we can come back to you if you want uh atlas uh, can i see through the door is there anything through this door or is it everything coming up behind us i uh, know like i said before that through that door opens up to another wider room with a lot of light coming through i'll say at this point the door's okay, cool. kind of got up to this point where it's like <sighs> And then it kind of jams. There's enough gotcha. space to squeeze um, through, but it is... And you can feel it just continuously trying to push back, and that's causing the whole structure to shake a bit. Uh, okay, um, with my hex sword sort of raised, I'll cover the wizard, who's obviously trying to make this work, uh, and I will... Uh, I'll ready a, a spell uh, for a... But this thing gets any closer, or anything gets within sort of a, a range that's going to hurt us. Okay, uh, Swift, what are you up to? Uh, I will probably just run over to the stupid old man to body block anything that comes his way. The sound's coming from like down down where these guys are, right? Which sound? There's a lot of sounds going on at the moment. The whole structure itself is shaking. You can hear like a thunking sound coming from up. Nah, this direction moving our way. and shit's moving you can uh, all these like you with your dark vision you can see at least these three or already just starting to like shift a bit as they kind of like slowly because i can see your pings oh huh hello oh, i just said did, were you pinging oh yes because if so i can't see your pings oh i'm probably on gm there sorry these these here sorry from this direction is where you heard the thunking sound from above invisible things you can see that eh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. So, thunking sounds coming from up here. I'm going to change my color. Hold up. We'll go to pink, I guess. There we go. So, thunking sounds coming from up here. These bodies, at least with your dark vision, you can see they're already starting to kind of jitter around a bit uh, and get ready to move. Uh, I would say you guys probably have one more round, um, I would guess, or you can probably assume at this point. You feel free to fire off if you like. The I will say that these three, I should probably make this prone, these three all stand up. And you can hear movement just down the further corridor. Well, if Swift and Atlas have come to my back, I will have clipped that actually something's happening behind me that I'm not paying attention to. Um, oh, guys, what? Uh, I'm a little bit flustered, so I am... Uh... Yeah, I'll probably, to be honest, I'm, I'm yeah, uh, AGN's probably still trying to figure out what's going on, um, and the clicking, tinking sound has stopped, right, in terms of the thing, the initial thing that started the shaking of the cabin? Like, as the doors were opening, there was something that went, tink, jink, jink, the, the, and something. The, okay, so, very quick recap. So, the tink, 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 initially yep. was up here, and then you just heard a doof, yeah. doof, yeah. doof, that's still happening. Okay, That's cool. in the process of happening. These doors themselves, they made a whole lot of noise and they started pulling back. And now they're almost like, it seems like they're almost stuck in gears because they're going... 
Okay. Uh, and the whole place is start shaking. And beyond that, you can just basically hear all this kind of movement and such behind you. All right. Which you can as, probably at, see some of, yeah. At that, then, I will probably uh, turn around and prep a spell. I can do that, eh? Prep a spell. You can prep a spell if you like, yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to pre- uh, prepare uh, levitate. And I'm going to just be ready, uh, just to be in case anything. Anything kind of comes toward us okay turning around if you're looking back that way you probably see the only the slightest movement from the wood knight but sh- its hands just oh, its fingers shit. just grasp around the hilt of its um of its of its great axe oh. i knew i should have got control flames can't you <laughs> okay uh last couple of actions i guess uh so gabriel uh, I'm gonna cast protection from evil and good on myself. Nice, cool. Any movement? Uh, uh, we're quite grouped. It's gonna take one more step back there. Wait, sorry. Yeah, sorry, that's my... all right. Stand my ground. And hold my crossbow at right the ready. Okay, and very quickly, Atlas Swift. What are you guys doing? Same type of thing. Obviously, uh, Atlas has moved. Yeah, a I'll take bit. five feet back. Uh, just making sure that I'm out of line of line of sight for the wizard, so I don't want to take anything in the back of the head. Uh, and as I see this big booty thing at the edge of my vision, I'm just going to start the ball rolling and say, Magnus, fair and Vitali. Yes. Uh, and send an Eldritch Brass straight into the face. Fair enough. Okay, sweet. So we'll get that roll, and we're going to roll initiatively.